Hey guys, so I went, just got back home from my first pre-release. It was pretty fun. I went one and two and then dropped to play Pokemon. I, I level 17 right now. I leveled up from like 11. So it was a very long night. And yeah, obviously it was lore after lore and it was a very, very cool. But anyway, I'm gonna show you a Friday night magic deck and the deck will change and that's why I wanted to make it today was so uh, you guys could recommend what changes you would make. So here we go, this is the sideboard. You have four, I guess I'll do it from this side, four Kojilak's Return. Very, very good against all the token build decks where Nissa, Gideon, it wipes the tokens away so you can attack with your uh, Drazi. Oath of Gideon, I felt this one was going to be better than it turned out to be, but overall it is a good sideboard card. It does present uh, warriors, which are good, and having extra loyalty does matter for Gideon because you can ultimate him and he can still survive to make tokens later. I just love this card. I mean, anytime I'm in red, I play the card because it's either... You're either going to attack with it, um, or it's a free one haste for two in a red, which is not bad. Or for five, you can steal a creature for a turn, and that is very good. Roast. Roast is very good against the Sylvan dude, who is a two free with vigilance, but then when you have lands, he becomes a four five. Four five is not very good against, or four five is very, very good against this particular deck, as I'll show you later, because you 4-4 four, four is your best card. That's pretty much your best creature. One, the Ceaseless Hunger. Uh, you can bring him up, out with Nahari. And there's other com good combinations with him. Nahari, you only get one really good attack with him, but he does come back into your hand, so you can potentially play, play him again. Let me move this up here. Four Reality Smashers. One of my favorite cards definitely helps that he has Trample. I call him Planeswalker Killer because he kills Planeswalkers. Two Avacins. Avacin is just so OP right now. I don't even know how to say. I mean, five for a Flash, Fly, and Vigilance. And then when she comes into play, creatures you control gain indestructible, including her. Then if you see how somehow dies, she flips into a bigger, badder version of herself. Or if another creature you control dies. Pretty good. And this is the reason you play the deck, and this is the reason that you dip into red. I like it a lot. It pluses very well. It gets to the point where it gets so big. So the ultimate, I don't even use the ultimate. I'm always using her plus two or her minus two. A uh, card quality, this card does a lot when it comes to card quality. And I think it's good enough. Not a lot of people are playing it in standard, but it's very good. And one of your best cards. So this card is, there's not much I need to say about it. It's being played in Legacy, Modern, and even Vintage. So it's that compelling. Four Gideons. I, let, I tried four Nahari's, free Gideon's, some combination of Nahari's and Gideon's, and four Gideon, you always want, you always want them. Nahari, sometimes you want her, sometimes you don't. Uh, Abbott, this always comes down later, it never comes down as you turn two, so I put it in the free slot. Displacer, a very, very good card. Chandra's Oath. Uh, again, this is pretty good removal. It does kill that Sylvan dude before he gets too big. It does allow you to do extra damage with your Planeswalkers, which is relevant because sometimes you get almost there. Um, this is very, very good against Hanging Back Walker. And it counters the Pyromancer's Goggle deck. Uh, that deck relies on Fall of the Titans or actually relies on Nissa's Pilgrimage and a few other cards that are sorceries, actually. And Hang Back Walker to stall, you have your Westvale Abbeys, you have two planes, three mountains, four needle spirals, four battlefield forges, four 
reefs and four caves. So you run 20, 24 land, but you have access to Ajazi mana all the time. So it's a very good deck. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, next week, obviously, we have a new set, and I will probably play some mono white Valia build. Um, definitely because Valia is my favorite card. I do have to pick up a playset of her, uh, but luckily, she's not a mythic, so it should be doable. And next week, I'll have a very cool deck. Bye, guys.